This video is about how to create a remote desktop connection from Windows 11 to Ubuntu 20.04. Remote desktop is a Windows protocol and can be used to connect Windows computers to different operating systems. Outcomes from this video would be to install an XRDP script into Ubuntu 20.04, set Ubuntu to the same local network as Windows 11, configure remote desktop on a Windows machine, and verify RDP works by making a connection. Requirements include an Ubuntu 20.04 computer or virtual machine, a Windows 11 computer or virtual machine, an internet connection, and a local network. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. The first step in preparing Ubuntu to be a remote desktop protocol server for Windows 11 is to download an XRDP installation script. So that's why I'm at this site, Synergy.be, because they have an excellent script that I've used before. The price is right. Now you'll notice it says, use these scripts at your own risk. That's a disclaimer warning. Keep in mind that this script is offer free to anyone who wants to use it. It is a bash shell script, and the source code is freely visible to anyone who wants to examine it. If you want more information on using this script, simply click on the how to button to the right. If you would like a more bulletproof use of this script, my guess is that Synergy could provide consulting services to you for their usual fee. Click on the download button to download the script to your Ubuntu machine. You'll see here it is, it's already downloaded. So let's go check. Open up the files browser. Go to downloads. And there it is. In the next step, I'll be installing this script on this Ubuntu machine. So here I am with the XRDP installer script downloaded. My next step is going to be to open up a terminal, and that's Control-Alt-T. I'll move the terminal over here just for better viewing. First, I'm going to go to the Downloads directory. Hit Enter. Do an LS. And you'll see there it is. And let's unzip it. Unzip. X. Tab. It's unzipped. I'll do an ls, and there it is. Now, if I go to the file manager, open up the file manager, it's also showing it. And I'm going to open up this script, and you'll see that the first line is pound bang slash bin bash, so it's a bash shell file. And one thing I want to point out here, and it's about a thousand lines long with all the spaces and comments. Go down to line 53, and again, you can see the disclaimer, script provided as is, use it as your own risk. And you can use this script and distribute it as long as credits are kept in place and unchanged, which is really nice to allow the ability to distribute it. Say thank you, big shout out, and thank you for uh, Synergy Griffin. So let's close this, and let's continue with the uh, terminal. Bring that back up. Now that I've got the XRDP installer script as a shell script, let's make it executable. chmod plus x, x tab, s h, and let's run it. Well, before I run it, let me point something out here. There's a number of different ways it will work. You could do a uh, with a dash H, the installer script will display a basic help menu. With a dash S, it will enable sound redirection. And I've used this, and that works great, especially when you want to see a video or a YouTube video on the Ubuntu computer and bring it over to your Windows machine. And login screen, dash L, will customize the XRDP login screen. And then you've got the dash R and it will remove the XRDP package. So that's a number of different options, but I'm just going to do it plain and simple. And that's it. No dash H or S. Run it. Ask for my password. And you should be connected to the internet when you're doing this, because it might be bringing some other stuff down. Like I say, you can go over the script and see what it does. 
It's written by Griff on October 2021. That's it for downloading and installing the installer script. Now, we've got to do two things here. One, I need to know the IP address of this machine. So I'll go IP ADDR and oh darn, I blew it. It's on a different network than the Windows machine is on. It's on 10.0.2.15 and the Windows machine is 192.168.1. Let me see if I can fix that because I'm using a virtual machine. Let me bring this up a little bit here and I'll get to my virtual and network settings. This is VirtualBox. I'm using VirtualBox here. And it says Net. And let me switch to Bridge Adapter. Click OK. And let me see if it's switched. IP ADDR. Let me bring the machine back down in view. OK. The machine is totally in view. And you'll see that now I'm at 1.11. And that's pretty nice that VirtualBox allows me to do that. Also, I guess I'm glad it kind of happened because because I should have pointed out that they have to be on the same network. The first three numbers here have to be the same or the same local network. Now, the other thing I have to do here is I have to log out because Win11 won't connect to a machine if I'm logged in. So I'll have to go power off, log out, log out, leave it running. And so I'm logged out now. So here I am with my Windows machine open, and I'm going to go to Start. Click here, and we'll do a search for Remote Desktop. Desktop Connection. App's right here. Connection's right here. Let's open it. And here it is open. Now, if you recall, it was 192.168.1.11. Now, before I click Connect, I want to show some options. and want to make sure this is set up. First, I'm going to go to Display. I'm going to pick 192 oh, by 1080. That's a part of the screen I'm recording. I'm going to leave True Color at 24-bit. That's good enough to make it run as quickly as possible. So, let's go to Local Resources. I'm going to use a clipboard. Click on More, and Drives. And that's it. So let's go and make sure we've got a connection that works. Connect. Connect. Yes. So here, Remote Desktop Connection asks for me to provide a username and a password. Click OK. Then I get this black screen for a few seconds, and I'm always fearful about that. So here I am in Ubuntu. Let me increase the screen size here. And we've got our remote desktop thingy at the top. And so that's how you remote desktop from Win 11 to Ubuntu 20.04. Thank you.